Marketplace e-commerce shopping cart. This is a specific part of the process that is make or break for your marketplace e-commerce platform. This can dramatically change the percentage conversion that you're going to experience with your marketplace e-commerce platform. So what exactly do we want in the marketplace cart and how do we want this to work? Well, the general thing I would say here is this is going to depend on how your marketplace works. And for many marketplaces, there's a request for quote cart. There may be a combo cart where you're showing request for quote plus buy it now type of options. We may also have a detailed process that someone needs to go through that they really haven't completed once they have made the purchase or the commitment to purchase. And we want to make sure that they're comfortable with this setup. In particular, if the item is a large quantity that they're purchasing, we want to make sure they understand what the next steps are in the process. And we'll talk about that in subsequent videos. But the main thing with the cart itself is we want the user to be able to see a picture, a very uh, understandable and quick, concise view of the product description, title, that type of information, and the quantity that they've added, any kind of discount that they have, or the option to apply a discount. We may want to offer them the ability to change the quantity so they can get a price break and show them that they're very close to getting that. Uh, we also want to show a line item subtitle, um, any kind of price breakdown related to the item itself. And then here in this case, you can see we're also showing the currency selected and some details about the item so the user doesn't accidentally select the wrong size or the wrong color and not realize that. So ultimately, we also want them to be able to see their totals on the cart. And we may optionally want them to see shipping, customs and duties and other fees calculated or pre-calculated or estimated on the cart page as well. Now, the other thing that we typically are going to want to do is show any additional information that's pertinent to your marketplace. In this case, we actually have a view of the supplier for this particular item. And then we allow a view of the different suppliers that would possibly be accumulated with the cart that the buyer creates. Uh, we also have a set of steps that we're showing so the user can see that they're almost done with this process and what they need to do to proceed. Now, generally, once somebody gets to their cart and the checkout process, we want to keep the view very, very simple so they're not distracted and overwhelmed. OK, so that's a very high level overview of a marketplace e-commerce cart. Depending on your business and how it's going to work, this could vary dramatically. And we may want to have a different experience on the desktop from a mobile application or a tablet application that you may offer as well. And depending on the type of products that are in the cart, we may want to change this offer as well. For example, a lot of marketplace e-commerce platforms offer subscriptions or an upsell to a subscription or subscribe and save, that kind of a thing. This is absolutely something that can dramatically change the performance of your marketplace and the value to your sellers uh, that you're providing. If you give a small discount to buyers for subscribing or getting a subscription in general. So these are the kind of things that I encourage you to think about with your marketplace e-commerce platform. How can you iterate and how can you make your cart even better for both your buyers and your sellers going forward? Uh, we thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to stimulate some thought around your cart with your marketplace e-commerce platform. And we certainly wish you the very best on your journey ahead with your marketplace e-commerce platform. Thanks for watching this video on marketplace e-commerce. In this particular edition, we went into quite a bit of detail. However, we want you to know that we have complimentary resources that you can download for free that give you a summary and a cheat sheet on key aspects of marketplace e-commerce. In particular, we go into quite a bit of detail around a checklist. It can be really helpful when upfront planning for a marketplace e-commerce project. We also have go live steps and optimization steps around various different aspects of running the marketplace, making it self-service, setting up the governance rules, optimizing for organic SEO, performance, security tuning, and really the list goes on. We certainly encourage you to take a look at those links in the description. And as always, if you would like to, we encourage you to go to town on that like button. Certainly feel free to subscribe so you can get notifications about additional videos like this. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.